So generally speaking, these are the three kinds of answers that you're gonna see in flaw questions. Um, ones that say the argument's overlooking something, assuming something or taking for granted, or it's just trying to describe what the argument does. And depending on the kind of answer choice, that lends itself to a certain kind of analysis. Here's how we should think about the answer. So if the answer is saying the argument overlooks a certain possibility, the main question I have in mind is, does that possibility weaken the argument? Because if that possibility would not weaken the argument, then it's not even relevant to the argument's logic. Or in other words, whether or not the argument considered that possibility is not going to be something wrong with the argument if it doesn't weaken the argument. And we'll apply this um, very soon to an example I've written myself, but then to a couple of relatively difficult um, LSAT questions, all right? So when you see that phrase overlooks the possibility, ignores the possibility, or any other answer that's accusing the argument of overlooking something, the main question you could have in mind is, does that weaken the argument? And in many ways, it is just like a weakened question when you have um, that kind of answer choice, all right? The other kind of answer takes for granted, which means assumes. Um, here's the question that I'm gonna have in mind, or really two questions. Does the argument have to assume this? Is this a necessary assumption of the argument? Because if it doesn't seem like the argument needs to assume this in order for it to make sense, then it's not something the argument's taking for granted. Um, and if you've studied logical reasoning um, and, and recognize necessary assumption questions and are familiar with the general approach to those, when you see an answer that says takes for granted, you actually could employ the exact same strategies you use for necessary assumption questions, because that's what this kind of answer is saying. This is a necessary assumption of the argument. Um, and so does that make sense? Uh, we'll have that opportunity to apply to some real LSAT questions. But the main thing I have in mind is that technique of negating the assumption to see if it's truly necessary. That's something you can do with an, an answer that set, starts with takes for granted or assumes or presumes without justification, all right? Um, a secondary question that you might have is, does this alleged assumption match what happens in the argument? So sometimes rather than like approaching it like a necessary assumption or, or doing some kind of negation that's really complicated, Sometimes it's easier just to evaluate the takes for granted type of answer as, well, does the, do the different parts of this alleged assumption match up to the different parts of the stimulus? If the argument saying takes for granted that a, a necessary condition is a sufficient condition, you can always just go to the premise and say, did they give me a necessary condition here? Okay, and then did they say that that was a sufficient condition or think that that was a sufficient condition? So that's a way of analyzing um, takes for granted answers, all right? And that's pretty similar to the approach that you would take for abstract descriptions. So if I see an abstract description, like um, infers that um, a particular approach is the best way to achieve a particular result, if I see something like that, my main question is, does this match what happens in the argument? And very often, the first half of the answer, you, you think, can I point to where this happens in the premise or the conclusion? And if you can't find a match, then that means it's, it's wrong. And you don't even have to consider whether that was a bad way to reason, all right? Um, but if the answer does match what happens in the argument, then you will have to think for a little bit, is that something wrong? Um, is, is that uh, a flawed way of reasoning? All right. So generally speaking, this is my approach when I see these different types of answer choices. 